this is Chris from Needlepointers.com with a new table topper project I designed and created. This is my new snowflake table topper. To make this topper, you will need an AccuQuilt cutting system with an 8 inch, 10 inch, or 12 inch cube, the corresponding angle set, and a 7 inch snowflake die. I wanted to create a table topper pattern to use the 7 inch snowflake die. So I used Electric Quilt 8 to come up with this wintry table topper pattern. I used two of the blocks available through the 216 block patterns PDF that comes with the cube, the Fortify and Motivate blocks. I also used some half blocks to make the points. This table topper was created with the 10 inch cube and angle set. The topper finishes at approximately 39 inches by 39 inches. If you want to change the size of the table topper, simply change the cube used. For example, if you make the topper with an 8 inch cube and angle set, the topper will finish at approximately 31 inches by 31 inches. I haven't tried it, but you can use a smaller cube and the smaller snowflakes available in the holiday medley die and even a Go Me AccuQuilt cutter. You will just want to check the size of the block versus the size of the snowflake to see how the snowflake will fit. I have the complete pattern and step by step instructions to make this table topper available for free on our website. If you would prefer an ad free printable PDF version of this pattern and tutorial, I also have that available to purchase through our Etsy shop. Find the links to the pattern and the step-by-step -step tutorial and Etsy shop in the description of this video. I used three fabrics for this table topper. When picking the fabric for the snowflake, make sure it contrasts with both of the other fabrics so it will stand out. You could use a different fabric for the back of the table topper, but since I had a lot of this dark blue fabric, I decided to use it for the backing also. The motivate block is in the center of this table topper right here. The fortify blocks surround the center block. I made two blo fortify blocks with the light blue center and two with the dark blue center. There are four extra fortify quarter blocks that are put around the outside to complete the points and four extra motivate blocks that are used to complete the squares around the outside. Finally, there are 12 half motivate blocks that are created to finish the points and the inner corners. Four are made with the dark blue inner triangle and four with the light blue inner triangle. The pattern and tutorial specify each die, the size of the strips to cut from the fabrics, and the number of pieces to cut from each die. The step-by-step -step photo tutorial takes you through the assembly of the motivate and the fortify blocks and instructs you how to iron the blocks in order to nest your seams so that you can get your points all lined up. The four snowflakes are cut from fabric with heat and bond on the back. These are then appliqued to the assembled fortify blocks. If you have an embroidery machine, the snowflakes can be machine embroidered to the blocks. Otherwise, the snowflakes can be fused with the heat and bond to the blocks and then stitched with your favorite fusible web applique technique. Once the table topper is assembled, I used a pillowcase binding, trimmed the corners, and turned it right side out. You can quilt the topper any way you'd like. I decided to stitch lines on the light fabric only, including the corner points. The lines I quilted are 3 8 inches apart. I also stitched around the snowflakes with the light blue background only. I skipped stitching where the snowflake extended over the stitch line so that I did not stitch across the actual snowflake. We hope you enjoyed seeing this new table topper I made and try out the free pattern available on our website. If you think this table topper pattern needs a full step-by-step -step video tutorial, let us know in the comments below. If I get enough requests, I will make a full video tutorial. Like and share our videos, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, 
for lots of other quilting tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy quilting!